Hi crafty people. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday again. How's everybody's week going so far? Good, I hope. Oh yeah, there I am talking. Okay. Keep that so we don't hear me. We don't need to hear me, that's for sure. We do not. All right. So who is here today? I would love it if you would, um, hey Rebecca, if you would share my video to your page, that would help me greatly. And I have got a whole lot of markers laid out over here to use and all my stuff ready. And I'm making a card today that I haven't made yet. I saw Sandy Herman posted um, this card yesterday. It is a double fold, double fold card. And... So then I went looking for the fold. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for sharing. And of course, there's a gazillion videos um, on YouTube. So the one I'm making today is like a combination of different ones I've seen because there's really so many ways that you can um, change it up and make it. And it's really a fun card and easy, too. That's what I like. Fun and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get my um, phone up in the mount so we can get going. So let me just do that there. There we go. Let's see here. We got the um, burnt out lights replaced, so I think I said maybe on Friday that two of my, um, well no, I have two overhead lights in my room, hey Sandra, and the one that is more over my desk here had burned out, well Ken got up and took the cover off and there's actually two circle, they're um, circle fluorescent lights, and so um, he went down to Fred Meyer and they had the right bulbs and he got back and put them on and he gets them in there and I come back here to see how it's going. He, he said they're yellow and I'm like, they're yellow? And yeah, they were yellow, like they gave off this yellow ugly cast. I said, that won't work. And <laughs> um, so we had to take those back and they were pretty expensive, I have to say. And we went to Ace Hardware. Well, we went to Walmart. They had the same ones Fred Meyer did. And they're they're called Warm Warm White or whatever. And it said really that they were like for kitchens and bathrooms. Honestly, I don't know who wants that color of light in their bathroom because it throws off this yellow cast. And it, it doesn't make things the right color. And so Ace Hardware had the white the regular white, cool white, which gives a nice bright white, more like, more true color. That yellow was awful. Anyway, so he got the light bulbs installed, but he still hasn't put the cover back on, so we need to get that done. Okay, so enough about the lights. Um, the stash set that I'm using today is this adorable flying home set. Do any of you have it? It is so stinking cute. And I just love it. So this is the only, maybe, I might use an embellishment that's from my stash that's not current, but this is the only, other than that, this is the only thing that I'm using today that is um, from my stash that's not current. And I think that is so cute. 
The other thing is I'm using the new Free as a Bird and I'm using two of the greetings that are in this set because there's not any greetings that come in this one. I am using the, the cool um, layering squares framelits and what I love about those is that it's got the straight um, edges and then the little, um, what do you call them, scallops like that. The other new thing I'm using is the new designer series papers that come in all the color families. And today I'm using um, <clears throat> the Pacific uh, Point Blue color out of this one. And these are the six by six sheets. And so I'm using the Brights collection. Okay, now because these stamps are older, they are the old, oops, there they all go. Let me find them before Todd does, or he'll chew them up. Okay, how many stamps are in here? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got them all. Um, they don't, as you can see, they don't cling very well. I'm going to use that cutie patootie one. This one, where's the other two little birdies? And these two little birdies. So what I have found, hopefully it will work for me today, is if I just kind of moisten them a little bit on the back, that kind of helps them to stick. So we shall see. I'm going to use my Misty because actually, even though these stamps are from my stash, I haven't stamped them before. I know I'm not alone in that, so I'm not going to feel too, too guilty about it. So I have got, what size is this? I was thinking these were three inches, but I don't think so. So I cut these with the largest of the straight edge layering squares. They are just a little over two and three quarters square. Now I have to get after Todd. I think he's being naughty. Quit that. Come here. Come on. Don't be a naughty boy. Okay. So I am just going to wipe that a little bit with my wet cloth here and see if we can get it to stick. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm sorry. Todd? No, 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 come here. Come up here and look at everybody and show them your naughty face. Say, look, look, I'm being naughty, guys. I am a being a naughty Todd. Look, you could stamp and you your nails need trimmed. Yeah, this is naughty Todd. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, go play. And don't be a naughty boy. All right, let me see if I can. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I'll get water all over everything. I'm just making it a little more wet than it was by spritzing. Oh, and I did. I got it right on my paper. Well, that will dry. Let's see if that works. Okay, I think that might work. And I'm just going to um, use Memento Black. Oh, it's not working. It's moving all around. Darn it. Now I'm going to put it down here because it's got ink on it. 
and I don't want to have to turn my paper over, so fingers crossed. Okay, now let me see if I can gently ink that back up and get it in the same spot again. I think we did it! Woohoo! All right. Let me clean that one off and we will try the next. Probably if I just stuck a little two-way glue, zig glue on the back, it would work just fine. But I just don't like to muck everything up, you know what I mean? He's over there being naughty again. I'll tell you what he's doing. So I keep a potty pad in my stamp room because, um, you know, he's still a puppy. And I have the doors closed with them in here when I'm in here. So they don't have access to um, get out to where their potty pad normally is. And... He has taken to wanting to chew them up lately. Come here. Or tear them up. He's being a naughty boy. That's all there is to it. And this stamp's going to do the same wiggling around thing. Well, hopefully I can get this one to work as well as the first one did. So yeah, he's just been being a... I think he's like terrible twos right now or something, kind of. Because he didn't ever really bother him before, and now all of a sudden he wants to like tear him up. Okay. Manage to get that done. And I think that's really all I need to use the Misty for. So if you hear me getting after him, you know why. Because he's being naughty. I'm still going to use those little birdies. Oh. I need one. I So I saw this gal on one of the YouTube videos I was watching, and she got smudges on um, her cards, and she had this, I think it was Tombow, and she was calling it a sand eraser. Have, have any of you guys tried that? And it took her smudges off. I've got to get one of those. I'm not happy about that. What's the matter, Lacey? Did you get a hair in your throat? I'm just going to see if this works. Okay. Got lucky. I will be much more happy without smudges. So anyway, I am going to get on Amazon and see if I can find a sand eraser. I'm positive she said it was by Tombow. Okay, so now I am going to do some coloring. I am using light and dark in the soft suede for the nest. Well, I didn't mean to get on the leaves there. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing here. And 
I can go ahead and color the branch that color. I just love this stamp set. Can't believe I haven't used it up until now. But honestly, let's see, when did I get this? I can't remember if this is one I bought like after it came out. This was long before I was doing Stampin' Up. So I can't remember. And I'm thinking it was like in an occasions catalog maybe. I don't know for sure. Anybody else who's a demonstrator might be able to say. Hey Amanda. Okay. And now this is the light. Now what are you bothering? You bothering something else, Toddy boy? I'm telling you guys, terrible twos. Really think that's what phase he's in. Did I tell you guys we got a stroller? <laughs> we haven't used it yet. We haven't we haven't had it very long. And we got a double one so they can both have their own side of the stroller because here's the thing. Lacey doesn't like kids and she doesn't like anybody getting in her face. So it's got like this netted thing that zips. I am using Balmy Blue for the birdies because I wanted them to be bluebirds. Um, she doesn't like any. She doesn't like kids. I mean, she'll tolerate them as long as they're not running around and moving fast and jumping. I think it just mostly scares her that they scare her and stuff. But kids or adults, she doesn't like, especially if she's confined somewhere in her crate or in this case, probably that stroller. She doesn't like anybody like bending down and getting in her face. I think it makes her feel threatened. So the fact that it has that netted cover all the way around it is good. And of course, we don't want Todd to inherit that trait, not that he's any real relation to her at all. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I think they see by example. And we don't want him to be like that. So, uh, hopefully he won't be. But we can get out and about and go on walks and... Lacey can be, you know, we can have her contained, I guess, you know, so we don't have to worry so much. I don't know. You guys, I, you know, I'm not, I am not a very good color here, but I try. I don't know what I did there, but it'll be all right. It all turns out cute in the end. That's what I say. I'll just blend that. Little bluebirds. Bluebirds of happiness. Okay, I want to put a little darker on We'll make the end of his tail dark. That's cute. And do this. Yeah. Hey, Kathy. You don't like kids in your face either? Or people? I know. All right, so we're going to call that good enough. And then I've still got a couple of other little birdies to color. I'm going to do their beaks. Oh, I feel a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
what am, color am I using now? Light Daffodil uh, Delight. Light Daffodil Delight. Do you hear the birds chirping out my window? They are happy. So on Saturday, I took the dogs out for their potty break in the morning. And the crows or the, um, I don't know if it was crows or blue jays, but they were really causing a ruckus out there. And I'm using light granny apple green right now. I'm going to do, I don't like that. Let me get my color thing lifter to take that off. Anyway, they were making a whole lot of racket, and they do that a lot, so I just didn't really think a whole lot about it. This is the um, color lifter, and so the birds kind of started settling down, and there was this other loud noise going on, which at first I thought were birds. And turns out it was raccoons, and I believe baby raccoons. I could see them up in the trees. There's a whole lot of pine trees behind our house. And I know there were two, but I'm positive there were three. I don't know if there were more than that, but the size of them, from what I could see, they looked like babies. And I'm sure they were scared, and I think the birds were pestering them. And that's what all the racket was about. Um, so I kind of got the dogs rounded up and back into the house because I was afraid if one fell out of the tree or something and into our yard, you know, that would not be a good situation. So... Then the next time I took them out, oh look, I missed a part of the branch. Um, I think they were all gone. I didn't hear them anymore, haven't heard them since, haven't seen them since. But we're really cautious about that because one time we were in our living room, now this is many years ago, and um, this is a sad story. So. We were in our living room. We have a regular door on our front door, and then there's this little tiny um, porch thing, and then we've got a sliding glass door. And all of a sudden, it was nighttime, and it was, um, I don't know if we had Lacey then, so, and she's 12, so that tells you it's been quite a few years ago. Um, but, so I'm going to, go in with the dark granny apple green now. Anyway, they just started having a fit and at the patio door and there was a raccoon out there and Hannah um she's since passed away but um she was like fighting that raccoon through the door, kind of. We ended up with a, a hole in our screen. And I'm, I'm having a hard time coloring and telling the story at the same time. <laughs> anyway, Ken went outside. It was dark, and he went outside to um, chase the raccoon off. And the raccoon was not wanting to back down. He was down the side of our house by now, but he was not wanting to back down. And so we were afraid that maybe he was rabbit or something. It really scared us. Ken ended up having to shoot that raccoon. I'm sorry, but... Um, I mean, and I'm a big animal lover, but that was really scary, and we didn't want a situation where something like that would be attacking our dogs. So he called the sheriff's department. I can't remember, the police or the sheriff's department. 
afterwards because we do live in the city limits and you know you can't be doing that kind of thing and so it was a a woman officer that he talked to that I can't remember if he talked to him right then or she called back and she said yeah I've had to cap a few in my day too and it was like oh my word so anyway the next day when it was light out you know Ken went around out there and looked and there was a dead bird laying by our front door so I'm guessing that was the raccoon's dinner and it was probably just trying to defend its dinner so then we felt really bad but that doesn't mean there wasn't still something wrong with that raccoon I don't know but I'm thinking he was probably just trying to he she whatever defend its meal so there's the story about that Okay, now I'm going to do the little roof with, uh, let's see, I'll put some dark on the edges there a little bit. Maybe like that. And then I'll come back in and blend that out. So I don't like it when the raccoons come along. We have lots of squirrels, lots of squirrels. I just love, I love them, but they're they're kind of a nuisance. But there's always peanut shells all over in our backyard. So anyway, I think what I started to st say when all this story came along is that while our backyard is really little. We kind of have to go out there and make sure what's out there because the birds drop things. We find bread in our yard. The squirrels drop their peanuts all over and there's just stuff all the time that we have to make sure that the dogs don't get. Okay, I'll quit talking so I can... You guys are like my company, right? Ken's at jury duty, but when you know when he's not at jury duty, he's at work. And so it's just me and the critters. I talk to them. And I talk to you guys. I did go to lunch with my friend Deborah yesterday, and I have a coffee date with my friend Leah tomorrow. We try on most Wednesdays to meet up at Starbucks. And we call it Starbucks and Stamping. So if I have something or she has something to work on, we bring it with us and sit there and drink coffee and work on our things and do our stamping stuff. So I do get out once in a while. Okay, these two are um, Flirty Flamingo, dark and light. I'm trying to decide which flowers I want to do. Maybe I'll do, I think I'll do this big one in that color. Ooh, 
It is a pretty color. When I get through with this, the only other things I have to color are those two little birds, so it will only take us a minute. And I think we'll pretend that this is the same flower in a bud, so I will color that. There we go. Pretty, oh so pretty. Did you guys see my, if you're on my personal page, my funny um, picture I posted with Snap from Snapchat. <laughs> There's one that I did. I don't think I ever posted it. And it does, it turns you into a uh, guy. I look like this burly cowboy dude. It's really funny. Funny, funny. I'll take those pictures. Oh, maybe this one's that one too. Um... I do those pictures and then I send them to Ken on his phone at work and say, I love you. <laughs> hey, you got to have fun. Okay, I am going to, um, did I put the color lifter back? How'd they do that? It probably would have been fine without me worrying about these little dots here, but... I want to do them yellow and I don't want them to turn kind of orangey, so we'll just do that. And I will let that dry for a second. Okay, what other colors I brought? Oh, Highland Heather. This is the light. Try to be very careful. dogs are both sleeping in their little cute beds they have in here now so Todd's not being naughty anymore love that okay did I get all the flowers I think that looks like everything else needs to be green and then the middles. So I'm doing the, what did I say this was? Dark Daffodil Delight. Lacey's now snoring. And I'll go ahead and do this one that color. And I've got my granny apple green and then I've got light mossy meadow here and there's different kinds of flowers I mean leaves Durr. okay so I'll just do a mixture <laughs> I'm laughing at Lacey she gets all bundled up in the blanket and, you know, tucked in, all curled in. I think that's why she does the whole snoring bit.
this is the dark granny apple green so I'm just going to do just a little bit and then I will do the light mossy meadow on these other ones I think whoops I totally missed this one okay light uh, light mossy meadow I'm going to use the bullet tip I think that might be a little safer Rebecca, I posted, I don't know if you've seen it yet, on your your um, post that you did with the drawers. I took some pictures of mine, and um, Karen had a question as to whether they would sag with weight in them. But I've got quite a few punches in some of my drawers, and they're not sagging. Um, and I've had my, my drawers for... A long time now okay so now these are the biggest of the scalloped squares in the layering squares and I'm going to go ahead and this is the Pacific Point Blue. Isn't that a pretty color? just gives a little bit showing from behind but I love that so there's the little bird birds mama bird and her babies Ooh, you know what I have on order? I ordered the pigment powders out of the catalog. Can't wait for those to get here so I can play with them. I, I've seen some really awesome backgrounds. So I think that will be fun. All right, those pieces are done. I think I can start doing the card. I still have to do those. Let me do that. Let's see, where are they going? They're going inside this piece. So, let me go ahead and stamp those put this little birdie down here this little piggy went to market this little piggy stayed home that's what that reminded me of did you guys do that when you were little with your toes? This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. K 
Ken Williams is watching me. Aren't you supposed to be at jury duty, mister? You must be at lunch. I don't know if my husband's ever watched me live on any of my stamping videos. Hi, Ken. Aww. Okay, now I'm done with the stamping. I will just put some color on those two little birds real quick. And that, well, no, I've got one more greeting to stamp. No, two more greetings to stamp. <laughs> but at least we're almost to putting the card together part. I think I might use a different version maybe, but do the same card on my video for Friday. And I already know what stamps I want to use. Okay, they're little beaks, and then we're done with them. There we go. Now I will go ahead and stamp the greeting in there. I want, I'm going to do Your Friendship Means a World to Me. Thanks for being you. Okay, so the big one's going to go in this one Your Friendship. These are the new clings, so they stick really well. Hey, Janice. Your friendship means the world to me. So the card is a double fold. Double fold. I think that's what it's called. Double fold fun fold. I think if you just do double fold in um, YouTube, you'll see a whole ton of them come up. Okay, now inside of this card, I'm going to do that other little greeting. Thanks, uh, thanks for being you. Keep worrying that I've got ink on my hands. Thanks for being you. All right, now I think we are done with all the stamping and coloring. So now we can get to the nitty gritty. Okay, 
bring in all the parts and pieces. Isn't this Pacific Point Blue gorgeous? Okay, so here is the base of the card. It is wet now because I had my ruler. I had dripped water over here. Okay, so it is six and a quarter and it's scored at two inches. So that'll make the card our normal size of four and a quarter by five and a half. It's five and a half wide. So six and a quarter scored down on two inches by five and a half. And then I have cut out a piece quarter inch smaller in the that um, what I pulled out the Pacific Point Blue out of the Brights Designer Series paper pack, and I'm going to use this side to the outside of it on that little section there. And like I said, when you go searching this card on, um, so yeah, when you go searching this card on YouTube, double fold, it's because uh, you'll see as it comes together, mine's actually going to be a triple fold card because I've got, you'll see, you will see. Okay, so we've got a fold there, and then this one is going on the inside. Remember I did that there, and this one, let me get the measurements for you in case you're wondering what I did, because like I said, I watched several, and then I'm just doing a combination of everything I saw. So this one's going to be... Normally what you do for your next layer down typically is a quarter of an inch smaller, so four by five and a quarter. Only the whole, you know, it's, so it's actually ten, ten and a half long scored at five and a quarter. And then it's four inches wide. Okay. And we are going to stick that down to that piece. I know these, I love these papers too, Kathy, because I love that game. So you want to just get that little bit of a border all the way around there. And then I cut this piece yet a quarter of an inch smaller. So we've got three and three quarters by five. And there's the back side that I did on like on the front, but I want the gingham showing on this side. If you don't have one of these little silicone sheets, I've said it before, you gotta get one. They just wash clean. You can use them with whatever adhesive you're using. Even like glazes come off, paint. They're handy dandy. Okay, let's get this one on. So now we've got that, we've got this. Where's my little card? Here's my little card. It's going to open that way. So my little card's going to go in here, and I want this.
this one on that. So let me get the adhesive on that. It's so cute, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Why do I have this piece? I think it must have been an extra. Okay, this one is going to go on the front like so. I'm deciding, do, do I want to do pop dots? And I think, or I'm sorry, dimensionals. I think I do. Hey, Rosie. You getting it? You getting the picture now, Kathy? But like I said, you can make this one. This one does not have to open at the top. In fact, a lot of them that I've seen, they open in this way. I think I've seen only one that opened at the top. That you can make them open. That's what's so fun about this card. You can make them open whichever direction, whatever you want to do. And you don't even have to make the middle one open. The first one I saw, I don't think the middle one opened. But hey, I wanted mine to open. So you can do them however you want. Kind of like when you do little mini albums and you do all the little flip flap things in them. That's what I'm thinking. And you don't have to position this in the middle either. You can position it towards the bottom. Okay, nothing showing there. So now I want those scallops to line up exactly. So I think what I'm going to do instead of using my um, glue runner is I'm going to use glue so that it's a little bit um, forgiving in case I need to squirm it around. You know what I mean, jelly bean? Now, if I wasn't doing a one that opens here, somebody had a tip for doing this, but, oh, you know why I have that extra one? Because it was supposed to go behind there. I wonder if I can pull that back off. I don't think so. Okay, that's what I did wrong. That's why I had that extra piece, because actually I wanted it to go behind there. Oh, well... It's not the end of the world. Okay, let me see if I can do this without getting glue everywhere. I want those to line up best as we can. Thinking that looks pretty good. Just going to straighten her up a little bit here. Yeah, that's what I had that for and I forgot. I didn't make a practice card, you guys. I had this all in my brain. But I don't think it needs it because that shows up from back there. But it would have been better because then it would have popped here. Darn it. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get those that off of there and put it and fix it. So it 
opens that way, which is one fold. Like I said, mine ended up being a triple fold. It opens there. Thanks for being you. And then it lifts up and opens there. Your friendship means the world to me. Isn't that fun? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But before I mess it up and see if I can get that white piece behind it, I'll do that later <laughs> in case I mess it up. I'll be really careful, though. I'll try not to mess it up. And then I will take a picture of it and post it. But isn't that a fun card, you guys? I think it is. So now that I've done this and have the hang of it, I will have a better idea for the one I do on Friday, which will be using all current product and won't have so much coloring so it won't take so long. I've got glue on my fingers. But I love that little birdie set. It is called, again, Flying Home if you don't have it and want to go looking for it. A lot of times you can find the older sets on eBay and sometimes, what's that other one, e uh, Etsy? Sometimes you can find stamp sets on there too. So that was the one from my stash. Everything else was current product that I used. I'm going to try to add this back on though. I am, I am. All right. If you'd like to shop with me, you can find me at www.janawilliams, and my name has two N's in it, janawilliams.stampinup.net, and make sure you look for that hostess code on the landing page. If you spend under $150, then that will put you in for a free gift from me by a drawing. If you spend $150 or more, you would be your own hostess, so don't use that hostess code because you'll get all the hostess goodies and that will pop up when you order. So you'll be able to pick them out right then and there. All right, thanks so much for joining me for another Stamp Your Stash, and I will see you back here Friday at 2 for Friday Fun Day. In the meantime, have a great week and happy stamping. Bye-bye.